some point too. We're going to go a little bit further. Stress is coming by and I'll give you some chocolate. Yeah, four goats along the line. We've got uh, Dick down here. Oh, so it's about my oh, share of lunch. She's a good shell one goat. I'm a only shepherd shell one goat. She's a good big old paddler. And she's been over this fence, from, well, from top of the back of the camp. We were just a while on it. We were paying to see if she'd rather be somewhere else. No. But no, she just likes to go. Well, I mean, she's never been a sweet time. She's been a good girl. She won't have any eyes. She's been a sweet girl. Well, she's been a good girl. Don't be scared of her. She just wants to see the trouble. But it's a little bit worrying. We can tell they're enjoying the lunch. And we're going to go coming up and have a poke in the sandwich. So, we've got a tether in a minute. Uh, but she's got water. She's got food. She's got all her goats and friends with her. And plenty of grass. So she's perfectly happy there. And hopefully sooner rather than later she'll learn that she's supposed to stay in there rather than uh, her ashy lovely little puppy. And here we have this year's goat kid. Now, this on the right here is the middle field. It's the biggest field on this side of the farm. Uh, the white goats are solid goats. The brown ones are old English. Uh, and these guys down the front here are pygmy goats. With the exception, we can actually see it properly here. So, the dark one and the lighter one with the horns uh, just at the entrance there, they are called Izzy and Lizzy. And their mummy is behind them. They're actually bigger than their mummy is now. And the reason for that is, Lester, the Anglo newbie we saw on the way up, managed to make it over two electric fences uh, and find Diddy, who was in season at the time. Uh, they had a little party together and thus became Izzy and Lizzy. Now, we were a little bit worried at the time because there was a considerable size difference. Uh, but fortunately, uh, Diddy's had plenty of goat kids beforehand. Um, and she did struggle a little bit. We were coming in one hour every hour to make sure she was okay. And somewhere between four in the morning and five in the morning, uh, she did this. Uh, they're six months old now, they're already bigger than their mum. They're probably two of the rarest breeds of goat, two of the rarest goats you will find in the country because no one else is bad enough to try it. But there we go. We'll give Lester some uh, props for commitment, I think, on that one. And out there by the feeder is my favourite moo on the farm. Her name is Jessie, she's a Jersey cow. Now, you can see she's a little bit lovely. I don't care that she's lovely, I think she's gorgeous either way. She's got eyelashes to die for as well. Um, but she's absolutely lovely. Now, the reason why she's a bit lovely is because she can't have her own kids. Uh, no cars for Jessie, I'm afraid. But, uh, we need all the fat that would go to produce the milk. Because producing milk takes a lot of calories. Um, a lot of energy to produce milk. So instead of burning all that fat on trying to make milk, it just ends up sitting on it. Um, but what she does have is an incredible talent. She's still got really strong maternal instincts. Um, and she is a wonderful surrogate mother. She takes care of goat kids, she takes care of lambs, she doesn't care what species it is. We've got some calves here that we both just have done with their life because she just takes that good care of them. Um, yeah, she spends a lot of time on the farm at the moment, training for you. So, uh, You guys give me a wet breath. And we've got our smash attack on the left. Whoa! Whoa! What was that? 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 There we go, just kind of back in cafe now. Uh, hot beverage, hot
Pooing, I'm pooing. The horse is pooing. Let me know if you want to go to the 